everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Rebecca Gardner and I usually post covers on YouTube and I still kind of am um, but I'm also posting some author tube content as well as hosting some live streams and posting my YouTube shorts of my TikToks. Um, so today I have a new video for you guys and I've been planning this for a while, and, oh, uh, like, I've been wanting to do this kind of video for a while, and now I'm able to do it, and it's really exciting. So today I'm going to do the All My Novel Ideas tag. Um, I'm not tagging anybody, so, you know, just consider yourself tagged. Um, you know, it's fun to hear uh, other people's story ideas. And it's really interesting. So yeah, without further ado, without further ado, let's get into the video. And I forgot to mention that I, for this video, I, for this video script, I wrote a five sentence synopsis for each project so that, uh, for YouTube time circumstances, I well. For my, for time circumstances on my phone, like, anyways, you would understand. <laughs> like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to maintain space on my phone so that I can put this up. Okay. All right. Now to the video. The first project that I'm going to share with you guys is my first one that I fully written, which is forever changed. And it is my way contemporary spiritual fiction. And you guys know that I have finished the second draft um, back in September probably. And so basically it's about this kid, it's about this guy named Cameron. Um, and he has some friends and he has these friends for all the years that he's been in high school and he really and he realizes that uh, he's been hanging out with the wrong people because they go around like treating everybody bad and bringing others down and he can get himself out of that situation um, and he finds out that his sister and he finds his sister dead on the ground and um, he discovered this letter that she wrote to him and um, and he tries to discover himself on how can how he can be a better person um, I got this idea from watching this um, this video that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has put out about like eight years ago no it, nine years ago probably it was the one about bullying and it has like the storyline of this guy who um, you know he who is in a similar situation as uh, as Cameron so um, so yeah um, I can link the video down below so yeah, feel free to watch it. Even if you're not a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, it would be a great message for you to hear about bullying and, like, you know, how to treat others. So, yeah. And this next one is one of my current work in progress, current works in progress, uh, which is a fighter slash song. Um... And it is a YA contemporary fiction. Um, you guys may have heard of it. So you have, you guys may have heard me talk about this story so many times in my stream, in my streams, or uh, you have heard me talk about this story um, through my through one of my with tags. Um, but basically, it's about this girl. Um, who has been sick with cystic fibrosis for five years, and her time is coming to an end. Um, so while she has so little time to live, she and her sister 
uh, Kiara spent that time trying to make her music career happen, and she wrote this, and Nikaya, my main character, she wrote her final song and released it out to the world, and it went viral. Um, so I did, I got this idea from learning about this girl named Claire Wineland, who has the same disease as Nikaya. The, my main character, and also watching clouds. So, yeah, and it, and like I said, it's one of my current works in progress. And I forgot to mention that my last, well, yeah. Well, oh my gosh, okay. Let's just move on. This next project that I'm going to talk about is another one of my works in progress, which is Help Her Remember. So, yeah. So many of you have seen my whip, one of my whip tag videos on that. Lots of people have seen it and are really interested in it. And so you guys are in a real treat because you'll know what it's about. Um, so it's a new adult historical romance fiction. And it is about this woman who has lived with... Um, Alzheimer's for a couple years and she has lived with her daughter to um, help so that her daughter can help her take help take care of her and um, and then her father and then her husband comes back home from a really long trip away from her and brought her a gift and he um, gave her this painting of this weeping willow, which is basically the, these trees with like these types of leaves, like, well, I'm trying, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, I, look it up. It's weeping, it's called a weeping willow. Um, you tree experts might know what it is, but um, he tells her a story uh, in association with this tree and to see um, if she will come back to him. So it's kind of like the notebook, really, but it's more like, except, like, instead of, like, this guy reading her this story, it, it's actually him telling the story through showing her this painting. So, yeah, and I got this idea for my East Coast uh, trip this last summer. So, yeah. So, my next project idea is a, is a trilogy, and I've never written series before, and I have been wanting to. So it's I don't, I don't know if, if it's the best title for the, for this, but it's called Space Games Trilogy. Um, and it, and it is a YA, a YA dystopian sci-fi fiction. And it is about, so it is about this girl. Um, so she, um, she comes from this dystopian world where, um, ever since, um, this dystopian world that has crumbled and, and children are, so, and, like, families are starving and kids are on a brink of starvation, and it was kind of like the Hunger Games, really, where, like, they do these types of battles, um, to help these families, except they're not really helping they, these families, they're making it worse um, for them. It's kind of like, it's it's like that, but um, it was more like these people are being treated by slaves, treated like slaves, and, um, and it's like if you win this, these types of games, then you are free and you are free from slavery, so, 
Um, she tr she tries everything that she can to fight in this game, and um, if she wins, then her family can be set. F she and her family can be set free, and um, and I and I um, and I and that the way I thought of this story, it's kind of a mashup between the Hunger Games and Star Wars. I don't know how this is going to work, um, we'll see, but, yeah, I couldn't stop thinking about it, but, like, yeah, we'll see. And this next project is called Project Lifeline. I couldn't figure out a working title for this, so I'm just going to leave it as Project Lifeline. And it is a YA contemporary romance fiction, and it is about this teenage girl who has suffered from, who is suffering from depression, and she has suffered from depression long enough to find herself, um, to find herself, um, well, she, that she realizes that she can take it, and she finds herself trying to make an attempt to suicide and uh she call so she calls the suicide lifeline number and the only person to answer the phone was the guy who is working for the suicide lifeline and he and she goes to the mental hospital and um she meets this guy there and he basically helps her helps her um through her mental health stuff and and, and they build this chemistry, and you see that their chemistry um, building up as the story goes. Um, so, the, where I get the idea, it's kind of like the same, usually the same way I get ideas. It's just like walking around, like thinking of ideas. But like, I get ideas in during random times so um so yeah but oh my gosh i just thought that this story is so cute and i can't wait to start writing that okay and my last project that i'm gonna talk about is um is a really recent one that i just i just ha got this idea recently like a couple weeks ago probably and it was so that I I called this project my glamorous life at an American school, and it is a YA contemporary fiction, and it is about this girl who is a princess up from Sweden, and she is about to turn eighteen within the next year, and her parents are forcing her to go visit America and go to school there as a, an exchange ex exchange student to experience to experiment to experience the Amer the American school life and she doesn't want to but uh, she does not have a choice um, so she travels far from Sweden to Iowa and met two people well who are welcoming her into their home and she meets in rooms with this girl who is troubled, who's a troubled teenager, and um, they both are having a hard time getting along with each other. And so during her visit in America, while she's attending school as an exchange student, she finds herself slowly fitting into America and in that she, um, and she realizes that she realizes later in the story that she does not want to leave and that she might possibly go to college there, so college in America. So, yeah, like I said, I get novel ideas from random, during random times. I got this one while we were at a, while we were, while I was at a movie night with my friends and we were watching Harry Potter. I was watching Harry Potter with my boyfriend and our friends from our, from our, 
from our YSA ward. Um, and, you know, yeah, it was, yeah, it was kind of interesting, and I didn't write the idea down, but, like, I couldn't stop thinking about it, and then I was like, I should write it down. So, um, after, well, a few days after, I guess. But, yeah, those are all of my story ideas. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you for watching all the way through. Um, yeah. Th I don't think this is as long as I thought that it was going to be, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and um, let me know like which one of these projects sounds really cool to you guys. And let me know what projects are you wor you're working on and yeah. Like I said, consider this tag, consider this tagged, like, you know, like it's fun and interesting to know what other people are working on and what their stories are about. So yeah, make sure, and make sure you, some, yeah, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe and make sure that you click on the notification so that you, notification bell so that you guys never miss any of my videos um and i will see you guys next time and possibly in my live stream which is possibly um february 10th at five we'll see um but yeah Thank you so much for watching. Remember to stay happy, stay safe, and stay cool. And I'm off to the moon, and I will be back soon.